Let's see. Two canteens, a lighter, pocket knife, oh, machete. Any bites, rashes, coughing? No, they're clean. You know we're gonna need those weapons back. Don't worry. You'll get them back. Once we've cleared all this Bullshit. up. Bullshit. Watch it, girl. You're in deep enough already. You know, if I had my way, I'd just dump you over the side. See how well you swim with your hands tied behind your back. Guy might talk to me. Norma's Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. You're lucky she's no, he doesn't seem shots. like the most reasonable listen, guy. I know we can work some huh? You can't talk to this asshole. Hey, cut the chatter. You speak when spoken to, understand? All right. You. We'll start with you. What's your name? It's okay. You can tell me. Fuck you. Is that spelled with an F or a PH? Oh, it's all right. You don't have to tell me. I'll just call you Thief. We didn't take anything from you. Shut your mouth. I'm talking to your cohort. Bet we're not the only ones you've stolen from. I didn't steal shit from you. Then you've got nothing to worry about. Let's see here. Nice machete. You handled those walkers back there, but... How are you against something that can actually fight back? It's plenty sharp. Untie me, and I'll show you. I'll bet. Weapon like this, you gotta be comfortable getting in close. Getting messy. You know, every person we find living, they got some dead with them. Who was it for you, I wonder? Mother? Father? A couple sisters, maybe? Not kids. You? <laughs> oh, man. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. So you... You got nothing left to lose. No wonder you're all stoic and shit. <laughs> Ooh, I hit a nerve. Don't feel bad. I'm a lot like you. No shame in that. Look at that. Here we are. Monroe. Doubt you got a good look last time you were here. Too busy stealing from us to appreciate our little community. Bet you never gave them a second thought. Folks you fucked over? We haven't been here before. Save it for Norma. My sister. She's the one in charge here. She'll be just thrilled to see you. Zachary, thank God. You hurt? I'm fine, Jonas. I'm fine. Here, found your missing medicine. Thanks. I'll, uh, get this back to the sick bay. Hey, your job's not done yet. Come on. Randall, what's all this? I hoped I'd never see you again, Samantha. Norma, I'm... Not a word. Not from you. Found them on the ferry, along with this. What? That one there. She's the one to watch out for. That true? You dangerous? You don't believe me? I've never been wrong about something like this. I'm dangerous when I need to be. Aren't we all? Though dangerous isn't so bad anymore. You survive if you're dangerous. I can respect that.
Randall, escort these ladies to the storeroom. Find somewhere comfortable for the other two. What? That's my brother! Come on. You got this under control? Sam! Greg, you'll be okay. Get moving. Where are they taking Pete? Don't you worry about him. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are gonna have ourselves a talk. I'm not gonna let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. Anything goes down, and I'm blaming you. I don't take orders from you. You should reconsider. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but that's, uh, probably not gonna happen. Ugh, we've gotta get out of here. They're gonna hurt Greg. These people... I'm worried about Pete, too. Okay. Should have never involved my brother in this, and, and now you, um... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? You've been here before, right? Yeah, I have. I know my way around Monroe. I can lead us out of here. This is my fault. I'm so sorry, I... I was just trying to protect my family, that, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. What the hell is going on here? I just wanted to use the radio to, to reach people. I never expected that Randall would show up there, not after... <sighs> Ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp edge. This used to be full? How should I know? Ugh. Never be able to slip my hand out. Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. These must have come from there. Hey. Sam. Are you looking? We gotta find something. Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. One of the Mobjack's first aid kits. This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. I want to get out of this. I need you to tell me the truth.
You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. Came with his whole crew. And he just... murdered them. They were trying to run away. Son of a bitch. Norma told him to. She must have. Then they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Well, you know what happens. They just... It's nothing to them. If you fight, they kill you. If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's loose. Just a, uh, a little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. Think about what you're doing. We need a plan. Uh, this is my plan. This is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. Worth a shot. Let's do it. down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept it together. I'm a... No. God damn it! I knew you were dangerous. Come on. Norma wants a word. So, Michonne. I overheard your friend call you that. That's a great name. Norma? <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. You can stop kissing my ass. That's not gonna work with me. <laughs> sure thing, honey. I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure. Once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. Just tell me what you want. Oh, now, we're not gonna get along. You keep that up. There's no reason we can't be friendly. No need to be rude now. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. No thanks. <laughs> That's too bad. Can't say I didn't try to be nice. So tell me, you and Samantha, 
How long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. I just met Sam today. Really? And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. What do you want me to say? We were in the area, saw the ferry. That's what happened. That's not an answer. You keep wasting my time dodging questions. We're gonna have a problem. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. I suggest you stop fucking around. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't mistake my kindness for stupidity. You don't want to threaten me. No, I don't. But you put me in a difficult position. So here's the deal. You're gonna tell me what I want to hear. How many of you are out there? I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. There's nobody else. Hmm. That's interesting. And complete bullshit. All right, then. I know how this whole thing must look to you. I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Since you just met, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape Big Bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. You almost believed her, didn't you? Yeah. She said something like that. See? <laughs> I knew she would. She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. And now she's stealing from me again. She's just a kid. Too young to know any better. <laughs> yeah. Looks like she fooled you, too. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. You give more chances than most. It's not easy. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it?